Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to this Coaster Chow vlog. We're here for the opening day of the season, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, February 2022. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. So many stuff being seen here today. I'm going to get an icon for the first time. We're going to see um, Valhalla Construction. We're going to see, you know, the Big Dipper, the Nickelodeon Street. We're going to see Nickelodeon Land. You know, there was rumours at the start of the last year, you know, whether it was going to be the last year of Nickelodeon Land and Beaver Creek was going to come back in. We know that's not the case now. Nickelodeon Land is here at least for this next couple of years so you know it's going to be very exciting to see it all come true it's going to be interesting to see it all i haven't been here in five years it's going to be mad let's get inside the park it's about an hour till opening but i'm already excited let's get inside blackpool pleasure beach opening day 2022 let's go ladies and gentlemen we are here at the entrance gate of blackpool pleasure beach i think we're getting ready for opening very, very soon. Literally getting closer and closer to the opening. This is going to be a brilliant day. I really can't wait for this. Um, it's such a light day as well. The light is just heavenly. Uh, not just because I've forgotten how to turn my brightness down, but because it's a heavenly day. Um, but no, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant day on park. Uh, loads of fantastic rides to see. Valhalla construction. Big one. Whee! Amanda Thompson's over there. Let's get inside. <laughs> so I've just got off my first ride on Icon, the Mac Double Launch Coaster. I can say without a doubt, it is a top two roller coaster bar none. Uh, Mac Double Launch Coaster, the launches were not too forceful, there were the right amount of launches. Um, I think the launches were the, the right time, the right kind of speed. For me, I just felt like the, the airtime moments just really lift you out of the seat. The Matt Lap Bar, one of, in fact, no, arguably, Matt Lap Bar, the best restraint on a coaster ever. Loads of airtime, signature airtime on the ride. And overall, it's just a fantastic roller coaster. It's just fantastic. Just from start to finish, fantastic. Out of 10, I'm going to give it a good 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 is a fair result. So uh, let's go on some more rides here at the Pleasure Beach. But what a start to the day, icon. So we're in the queue for our second ride of the day. It is, of course, Avalanche, the Mac bobsled roller coaster. Open quite some time ago now. Very fun queue line, the Avalanche, very fun queue line. Still got the uh, two metre signs, of course, the old COVID protocols from the previous year or two. Look at the views though from outside. It is brilliant. Let's get in on the Avalanche. Let's go. Just had to go on that Bavarian beauty, the Avalanche. Decent ride. It's got a bit of an iconic rattle to it. It's not a bad like rattle or rustle or anything like that. It's just got this uh, rattle that doesn't feel painful, which is you know great for a, for a classic coaster. Overall, just as good as when I rode it last time five years ago. It was brilliant. Um, obviously, going into Nickelodeon Land, stepping back over this beautiful bridge, and uh, heading into Nickelodeon Land. So few rides here for everyone to enjoy 
you know, classic attractions, classic family attractions, need to do the next streak, because I uh, need to get that right on next streak. And obviously, Blue Flyer, I haven't done that yet, so uh, Blue Flyer's obviously a must. Um, got the Rugrats log flume as well. I might save that for about 1pm, so uh, I might save that for later, the Rugrats. But, uh, yeah, there's some brilliant attractions here in Nickelodeon now that are great to try. Obviously, get on the Big Dipper later. It's just going to be a fantastic day, so... Let's get on the Nickelodeon streak. So I have just entered the queue for the Nickelodeon streak. Of course, used to be known as the classic roller coaster. Opened a long time ago. Hashtag Orange Bar. Hashtag Tango Bar. <laughs> Hashtag Tango Bar. Hashtag another one. Uh, so, uh, this is obviously the classic roller coaster. Classic, classic coaster. Into the way in, there's a caution sign. <laughs> Careful of spillage. Um, yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful classic coaster. And it's great to get back on it after five years. So let's head towards the next streak. Hashtag two metres apart. So I have just done Infusion. Uh, I did, I've done Icon now, I've done Avalanche, I've done Nick Street and Infusion. Infusion, I'll say this for a fact, was not as rattly as last time. I think it's got smoother this season. So, I'll tell you something now. Really good of the Pleasure Beach to make that smoother. I don't know what they've done to Infusion, but somehow they've made it smoother. And I think it's a brilliant improvement. So, fair play to them. Um, and yeah, we're about to, uh, well, I'm not going to go on Sky Force just yet. I'm going to get some off-ride shots of Sky Force and then we'll have a go on it later in the day. But so far, today's just been exceptional. I've only done four rides yet in the space of about an hour. So let's see what happens the rest of the day. Sean and Charlotte from Theme Park Worldwide. Sean, last boat to your old towers in June. Hello, Charlotte, first time meeting you in person. Um, how's your day been so far? Yeah, it's good to be back. Cold, but yeah. it is what it is. Made the most of it. Good to be back. Absolutely. So, did you stay overnight or did you get here on the day? Oh, just on the day. Yeah, it's only an hour and a half. Yeah, not too bad. Just, just a day trip today. Yeah, how's it been so far then today for you guys? It's been good. It's nice seeing people again, you know. That's what it's all about. The social aspect of it is really nice. And getting on some rides as well. And weather. Yeah. <laughs> the, the weather's absolutely ridiculous sometimes. We've, we've been lucky with the rain, but it's not been too bad compared to what I thought it was going to be today. Um, I mean, what are you guys planning on for the rest of the day then? What kind of rides? Just around, see, what, see where the day takes us, really. Get some updates, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Guys, thank you so much for being on the vlog and have a great day. And we are about to capture our arch nemesis coming down the final drop on the Rugrats Lost River. Let's see if we can get a good snapshot of Arch Nemesis coming down the last drop. <laughs> so we are about to ride Wallace and Gromit's Philomatic, Dart ride the opening in 2013. Wonderful queue line theming here. Obviously, we've just finished around the Rugrats Lost River, Mr. Arch Nemesis. Hello there. <laughs> 
How did you uh, find the Rugrats? Oh, it was uh, a bit of a soaker. I was in the second seat, uh, still managed to get pretty soft and wet, so, uh, but it was a great experience. I was in there with my brothers, so it was good, it was good fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a little bit chilly. Like the yeah. What do you think about Wilson Gromit then? You think it's going to oh, be good? Looking forward to it. Uh, fantastic ride. I do. <laughs> I do like this one, it's very, very good. Yeah, so uh, let's get on. Move the ride. So we have just done Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic, a brilliant dart ride. Can't be a good run on Wallace and Gromit, to be perfectly honest. Um, like I said, great theming, the theming's really improved on that. Uh, definitely a good ride overall. Archer's enjoying his prawns. I've destroyed them, my friend. They've all been eaten. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're about to do River Caves now, another classic attraction here at the Battle of Poison Beach. And that's when the one thing I think we can all agree on that really stands out about the Poison Beach, the, the classic attractions, the attractions that have been here for decade upon decade. They're the things that really stand out about the Pleasure Beach compared to other UK theme parks. You know, they really get me back on. <laughs> they really kept the classics at the Pleasure Beach, so that's one thing that makes them stand out as one of the top theme parks in the country. So, you know, that's always been something I really respect about the Pleasure Beach. Um, not just Archie having the prawns. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Got two people enjoying the prawns, so um, yeah, we're going to finish our prawns and then head on to the river caves for a bit of uh, Valley of the Kings. Mr. Silkstone here in the queue for river caves. Um, what do you think of Wilson Gromit then? Fantastic ride. One of the best dark rides in the country, I'd say. It's just got so much character to it. Fantastic, fantastic yeah. ride. I think the theming's definitely something that makes the ride, and of course, bleh, the ending. <laughs> Um, I mean that. I mean that ending. It's like I think I was debating this earlier. Do we think it's scarier than the flume duck or not? I'll tell you, it might be. I really think it could be. <laughs> I mean, I it's close competition. Close competition. It is. It is. But uh, obviously, we're going on to River Caves next. I mean, yeah. another classic attraction. It is. Place. That's the thing with Black There's so much history and just character to this park. Um, yeah. It's obviously not the most technologi technologically advanced ride. It's got character. Yeah, it's got that vintage about it, hasn't it? That's it, that's it, yeah. Valley of the Kings. <laughs> yeah. So we are having a wonderful time here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach today. We were literally just about to do the Big Dipper, but then we discovered it's on a one train service. Can't be on one train services, can you? No, not on the opening weekend of the season. No, it's not, it's not for a ride like Big Dipper. So, uh, I don't know where we're headed now, but I'll try and find another ride to do. But yeah, big dipper on one train service. How you doing? Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Had a good day. And uh, we'll see you at the next ride. <laughs> I didn't get a shot before, but I need to get it now. Go on, on, get the zoom in. Go on. Nom nom. Lovely bit of prawns. Here we are in the station for hopefully, fingers crossed, ride number two on Ica. So, Mr. Silkstone and Mr. Ars Nemesis, Hello. last ride of the day, Icon, again. Um, what did you think the first time round? Fantastic ride. First time it wasn't raining. Yeah. So it was a very good ride. But uh, no, very excited to get back on it. Last ride of the day, as it says. Yeah, good, good way to see the day out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Reiterate. 
smooth as glass. Loved it when it wasn't raining. But hopefully this acts as a bit of fairy liquid and we fly around the track. Um, yeah, looking forward to this final ride of the day. It's been a good one. Yeah, absolutely. And despite the weather, it's been a really good day, hasn't it? It really has. It's been a lovely day. Good to get back to a theme park. Yeah. It's been nice hanging around with you guys all day. It's been nice to have you, mate. Nice to have you. <laughs> Hope I've made it as entertaining as I can be. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Obviously, you can check out Arch Nemesis' tracks. Uh, link in the description down below, and of course, link for Jack Tungstone in the description you. down below. Cheers, all dude. the YouTube channels featured today, Theme Park Worldwide, Pleasure Beach Experience, they're all in the description down below. There's a lot of people here today. Absolutely, it's been an absolute enthusiast fest. It's been an enthusiast fest, but let's get ready for our last rise on Arncon. So, have we done? It's been a great day so far. So it has come to the end of the day of the first day of the opening of the season in 2022 here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Just had our final ride on Icon in torrentious conditions, but you know why it was all worth it with the lads. Um, gonna get their final thoughts of the day, Mr. Arch Nemesis. It's been wild, it's been emotional, it's been beautiful. Two years and we're back, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, baby, let's go. I've had a great time, thanks for having me on the channel. Fantastic. <laughs> and the uh, rest of the lads here, What's been your favourite moment of the day? It's got to be Icon, isn't it? It's, it's got to be Icon. Right, so it's, that's it. It's got to be Absolutely. Favourite moment, Kieran? Icon, 100%. It's beautiful today. Absolutely. Jack, favourite moment? I really like the log flume shenanigans. Very funny <laughs> log Pretty flume good. takeover. That's it. My favourite moment? Oh, it's got to be Wallace and Gromit. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely love Boo, it. Boo, so the nice. ride. <laughs> <laughs> favourite moment? Favourite moment was I won my house back. Let's go, baby. Yes. And thank you guys for watching this. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with more vlogs throughout the season. Alton Towers opening weekend. You know the vlog is coming from that. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a black ball. Tastic day. I'm just this day, I got out of bed. I looked out of the big blue window and saw the sun in the sky. So I checked out of my room, met my friends, walked to the park and got myself a wristband. I was there all day, and I walked around the park, rode the ride.